I really thought that after everything he's been through, Louis C.K. wouldn't be prone to completely brain-dead takes like this one. But here we are. The comedian's solution to fixing America's increasingly chronic border security problem? Just let them all in. But my feeling is they should open it, the border. And just let them pour in, let everybody pour in, and, and then the answer, which is, well, then there'll be all these problems. Yes, there should be. There should be. You mean problems like social dislocation, more homelessness, rampant crime and murder? Yeah, according to Louis C.K., Americans deserve it. It shouldn't be so great here, is what I'm saying, in America. It shouldn't be. It's a weird thing to sequester a certain group of people and try to keep upping their lifespan and their lifestyle. And just keep trying to increase that for this group of people. And then everyone's and then this pressure of people trying to come in so they can enjoy it. Uh, and then it gets worse and worse down here. Right. So the solution to some people having higher living standards than others is to drastically curtail everyone's living standards. The equal sharing of misery. Everybody broke, everybody ill, everybody insecure. All in the name of equality. There's a lot of people that die so Americans can be safe. Mm. They're just dying you know, weddings that are drone bombed in Yemen because the guy said something that might have resulted in American insecurity. Not even like definite American deaths, but like just so we can breathe a little easier. Folks die. Right, so the US military industrial complex creates fake pretexts as an excuse to bomb other countries for no good reason. And that means ordinary Americans must be punished by having their country invaded at the border. What? That's completely deranged. Because Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman and Raytheon want to maintain high profits by drone bombing weddings in Yemen. That means Americans, the vast majority of whom have absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with that, have to suffer. In what demented world does that make any sense? That's the same thing as saying if a Yemeni terrorist carried out an attack in America, then the Yemeni people need to suffer. His own argument debunks itself. But also, it's not good for us either. It's not a good way to live in a gated community, you know? If, if you let folks pour in, like any other wave, it'll kind of slosh. And then you'll just, things will be different. Oh, things will be different, all right. I, I don't know, like, there. what'll really happen? A bunch of people, like, will they just come with knives and start kill, killing everybody? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, that's literally what's happened across Europe. There's a direct line of causation between mass uncontrolled immigration and crime. In Germany, in France, in the UK, where stabbing attacks in major cities are out of control. Not to mention jihadist terror attacks, which are now so commonplace. We just had two this week and they've already been forgotten about. He talks about gated communities. Maybe he needs to get out of his gated community and take a look at what's happening in the real world. You'd think Louis C.K. wouldn't be so pathetically desperate to prostrate himself to the woke mob, given how they've treated him in the past. I mean, who's he trying to impress? I can't imagine he actually believes any of this, given how imbecilic it sounds. And if he does, then he's just an idiot, plain and simple. <laughs>